Hi, welcome to Not TV. I'm at the Country Stone. Back to nearby where I'm staying. I got pictures. These are the three different procedures they offer. The one I will never do is the lap band. Where they tie that thing around there and then they poke holes you with needles to change the size of it. Terrible. And you're still stuck with the full sack. Disgusting. The, the most frequent one that they give and the easiest one they give is the middle one. Now that's what's postponed my surgery date because I want this one. But I have acid problems and I'm taking Tektra which doesn't work and I was in the hospital not that long ago to get that prescription and he said it was the best stuff, you won't complain and I have complained and it is hurting and it does cause problems to sleep, lie down, swallow, coffee, pop, water, orange juice, apple juice, period. Just bad. Now, obviously, it's not an emergency because I'm here talking, so I'm surviving with it. But um, he's saying because of the acid reflex problem that this surgery is the one I should get because it'll cut the whole thing out. The problem will go away. But with this one, which is the sleeve gastrectomy, then I might be suffering with acid problems for the rest of my life because of the portion of stomach that's there and how it's shaped and the way the acid comes up. So we're going for a scope. Now that scope's going to be done probably at St. Joe's Hospital. And the secretary's going to come with the appointment for that. I don't know um, if it's going to be before I see the dietitians in November. I hope so. Because we're still planning on trying to have my daughter come for Christmas holiday so she can take care of me and then my recovery state and drive the van. In the meantime, I'm stuck eating foot-long subs. You know, taking an hour in between each six inches because I really am repulsed by the consumption of the amount of food that 316 pounds requires to get through one meal four or five hours to the next one. Not fun when you're sick of food and you're sick of eating in large consumptions of this order. At any rate, surgery is still going to happen, but i got to go through the other three appointments, which are all on the same date at the place where I just was, November 20th, which means I can work. So now I'm just going to wait till next week to find out about the job site and the job hours. Cross my fingers that he still picks me because I told the secretary to tell him my daughter needs braces. So I really need the job. I won't miss the shifts. Um, worst case scenario, the, the surgery gets postponed until spring break. But she's almost done school altogether. But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure November 20th, she's going to squeeze all three in on one day, and if they all say yes, she's good to go, we're going to do ruin why, because the scope results say she can't have sleeve gastrectomy because of the acid reflux problem. This is what it showed. Um, they're going to make me drink some stuff, and it's going to go all the way down inside of this to see. Now, he knows I know I've done my research, so he knows I know I want this surgery. Um, so I have to pass the scope test first. Otherwise, I'm stuck with that one, which means it's going to take me like two or three years to stretch my stomach out to four or five ounces. And then there's a risk of, of, of if I get pregnant again, which I won't be able to do for two years. I have to sign a waiver that says no pregnancies for two years, which is easy for me. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. I can't get pregnant. That's something I have to pre-plan. But with the surgery and the recovery of it, birth control doesn't help anybody in any of these surgeries, procedures. It, it doesn't affect their hormones because the body's fixing itself. So it's absolutely like taking a dud, a fake pill. It doesn't work. So they, they make you sign a waiver for no pregnancies for two years, which is easy because I'm not with anybody, and I'm not married to anybody, and I'm not engaged to anybody. I've never had anybody go that long. It would be with me in a relationship for two years and wait till I'm all well before. That's even just an even weirder thought. I'm all for that idea. Whew, that's a companionship, kissing and all that other stuff. But anyways, I'm rambling. But um, so it looks like I'm going to lose this argument. I'm going to wind up the two on the stomach. And then that could effectively grow into a full-size stomach again if I'm not careful after having another pregnancy. I don't drink alcohol, I hate booze. So in that respect, it wouldn't grow on that account. I'm just worried about being 39 or 40, getting pregnant again, and then having the stomach grow to its normal size while the baby's growing. By then, though, I should be used to my diet and habit of food. It should be permanent, so I should be okay. At any rate, I just wanted to show 
what this moment was. The reason I have a surgery today is because I have to see the dentist in the clinic and the social worker. They all three have to pass me here, obviously, and everything else, uh, work-wise, support-wise, doctor-wise. Um, and then say to him, yes, it's a go. It's mostly going to be. And then the scope results decide what's wrong with me inside here to figure out what the risk is having this. So this looks like it will be a no, even though it's definitely the one I want, so that I can eat six inch And swim for 40 lots. And not to worry about for four hours. You heal faster. There's less problems. If I have acid problems, acid reflux is a permanent problem. The only way to have that problem is to cut the whole point, which means that I'd be such a small one. And then it takes that to survive. But that's where it is. That's the date. I went, I, my, I came, I conquered, I had a hospital bracelet on. Now I've just eaten six inches. And I'm enjoying my new lifestyle. But I don't drink a hell of a lot. Sometimes it takes days to drink these. It just depends. I drink my water. I'm gonna uh, wait 40 minutes to eat like half hours. Yeah, it's that fish, it's iron, it smells chronic, and I'm purely eating stock. Like cucumbers. Uh, it's not fun when you're sick of it enough. It will you do yourself. And then dinner's at 45. Look, more food to eat anymore. So, yeah. I felt the other I did go. I scooped them and drink some strain theme. They shot was done what happened stuff. Well, no, what you win. Whether I can this, this, it's gonna be that. Either way, I'm gonna end up in a whole Christmas. That's what I said. I should turn 16, 27. I uh, come for the whole day for. Hope on this. If you're up, I'll do it again. I'm